pretty much the most perfect flags to ever see out in the wild. It almost is like they're forming a union between the two countries, Japan and Bangladesh. This is like a dark green, but it's looking more like black today, which makes this feel even better. It's hard to tell though that the Bangladesh dot is a little bit off center. They don't put that right in the middle. The infamous flagpole war. South Korea on one side, best Korea on the other. Actually, you know, looking back there, they don't look half bad. So obviously this is at the Korean DMZ zone, and in the 1980s, uh, one side built one flagpole, and the other side built it higher. And of course, this is how they are competing, who can get the higher flag. Humans are funny, man. We have these dudes on a boat, I think that's a boat, with a very interesting symbol. The Finnish gunboat was designed showing the Finnish lion ripping the Soviet hammer and sickle apart. 1942, built in 1917, she served in the Finnish Navy during WW2, took part in a couple battles that ended in Finnish victory. I'd actually be surprised if this is the only place you could find a symbol like this in Finland. You would think they'd be like repping this secretly in like on their clothes and like on badges or something. This man was able to design a flag in Chechnya and it was granted by parliament in 2018. Look at that. I can't even think of a higher honor one could receive. Looks like my cousin's back there. Maybe he can hook it up. She's one of my designs next, bro. Here's a pretty epic redesign of the Austrian flag in the 19th century. You can see that scary little falcon slash dragon thing on both sides here. So they were rocking with the very basic yellow and black, which I'm not gonna lie, that is still pretty unique. Those are two colors that you don't normally see together. Flag of the Habsburg monarchy and also the flag of the Austrian Empire. I think this alone stands out. But yeah, could you imagine if they did something like this? I feel like Austria should reform like a neo-Austrian empire just so they can adopt this flag. It does seem like kind of futuristic in a weird way. Maybe when Austria colonizes space or something. So someone realized that St. Edward's crown is purple, but in heraldry, it's red. And I guess the theory is that maybe it was because purple was really hard to produce back then. They didn't want to have to like make purple for all the different things that put this sign on it. There's like a ba -ba -ba red is close enough. A real life flag that was submitted in the 2015 New Zealand flag contest. You know, good on New Zealand for accepting it though. This probably made this five year old's day. Watch him actually be like a 56 year old man. Really proud of this and everything too. We're just out here flaming him. Perfect summary of New Zealand sheep and ice cream. Is New Zealand known for ice cream? It actually gets better though. They were 15 like totally based flags that New Zealand should have chosen. I've seen this one everywhere. This is probably the most iconic. At what point in the future do you think we're finally going to slap Pepe on an official flag? And who's going to do it first, honestly? I'm trying to think of like what nation is meme enough to do it. If anything, it'll probably be like a very small city or town, but someone has got to do it. The prophecy must come true. I love the interviews with some of these great flag designers. This person said that the design was so powerful, it does not need to be discussed. That's always best. Let people interpret however they want. That's how a true artist performs. This one might be a little bit better though. I believe it accurately represents the New Zealand people as hardworking people from today and on into the future. Yes, I could definitely see that as well. For this one, we have the pink representing the people, the turquoise representing the water, the green representing the land, and the pentagram representing the stars. <laughs> yes, yes, that's got to be it. Nothing else. Again, why are there so many flags that look brilliant together? Israel and Greece. Do you think they like change the color tones a little bit just to make it match a bit more? Or you know what? It might be the lighting in the room that makes the colors a little bit more similar. Again, these are some country unions that I never knew I wanted before this. The official icon for the Canadian Supreme Court. Gotta hand it to them here. This is pretty epic. This is actually so epic. Like, why not slap this? Get rid of the basic leaf. Put this thing in the middle of your flag. Palau and probably a couple other circle flags, Japan and Bangladesh included, are some of the only flags that you can roll up into a bowl and still look like the flag. What a mad lad for whoever came up with this. Imagine flying a hot dog flag. It's just like a cylinder for some reason. You'd only be able to see that yellow from the sides though. Traditional provinces of France and their coat of arms on map. You can definitely tell like among some of their favorites how many provinces use this thing. You would think you'd go with a more original design. I mean, I can't think of anything more French than this though. I feel like Brittany's coat of arms should look a little bit different. I'm thinking more something like this. This actually reminds me, I have this theory that a lot of kids don't realize that It's Britney is an actual lyric in a Britney Spears song. I'm pretty sure that Michael Scott has made this phrase infinitely more popular. So I'm willing to bet there's a lot of Gen Z kids that only know this line from him. I do like how this territory right next to Switzerland is just casually looking like Switzerland. Kind of like a Denmark as well. Also these places next to Catalonia looking a lot like the Catalonian flag in Spain. France has some pretty good coat of arms I'd say. Although I wasn't expecting the ninjas hidden on Corsica to be so 
blunt about what they were doing over there. I really love the flag mashup bot on Twitter. They come up with so many cursed combinations. The United States plus Chile equals the United States of Chile. I can just smell the freedom and the Alamo. It's exactly the Chile flag still, but nah, might as well just be Texas. The first galactic empire plus Yugoslavia equals the first galactic Yugoslavia. This is why you guys need to come together again. You got the flag already made. It looks beautiful. Get out there in space. Start doing your thing. Here's Austria plus Aland. Uh Aland? How you say that one? Basically the island in the Baltic Sea between Sweden and Finland. This looks really good. It's like a mini Swedish flag, honestly. It actually looks like Ikea. Or that. Whatever the hell that is. That works too. The Blue Jackets manual. This guy posted his grandfather's naval handbook from WW2. I didn't realize that different ships would be flying different flags, really. So you really couldn't tell the difference between US flags. Like, that seems like a bad idea the merchant and and the warships. So here's the naval warships for the British Empire versus the merchant ships. It seems easy enough to tell the difference if you're out there at sea, surrounded by just blue everywhere. You probably want, this is probably why they have a lot of red flags. You don't want a blue flag out there in the ocean. This might be one of the most surprising to see Germany doing some weird stuff. Is this true? I and mean, we were like battling against them. Are we sure these flags are accurate? So they were rocking this traditional one, but then when it was a merchant ship, they would remove the, uh, is that like an, the cross, it's, I don't know. They'd remove that though. The Iron Cross is not present. Japan did something similar. They went to their new version. Like this was their old version Then they rocked this. Was the dot actually off center though? That's the big question. This is a terrible idea for Italy. Look at this. No wonder Italy had trouble. You just removed the hat? That's all you were gonna do? Who's gonna be able to tell that difference? This almost looks like a joke. France and the Netherlands. What do you, what is this book doing? Putting memes inside of war books. I did recently hear there was a secret flag language that some boats would use. You'd be able to like write out certain things and uh, I'm kind of amazed by that. Hopefully you have all these flags on deck though. Like imagine you were missing, I don't know, Roger. Not gonna be able to write out any words with the letter R in it. This person's first time seeing the Mississippi flag and it's upside down. I mean, I guess you gotta give them a, a little bit of a break here. It's a little new, so whoever put up the flag, a little confused. That makes me think like you don't really gotta worry too much about putting flags upside down when they're just like a basic three color like this. You can put them upside down. I guess you just gotta worry about making sure the right side goes goes to the flagpole first. And since Switzerland has like a perfect square, you could just slap that thing up there in any way imaginable. It's always gonna look the same. Here are some other beautiful flags coming together. Definitely not quite as nice as Israel and Greece though. That's probably the best combination we were gonna see. This yellow thing on top kind of throws everything off. You realize how many people probably think this is a meeting between the US government and Pepsi? The flag of the Turkic Council, which I've never heard before, but that looks really good. And it looks even better with Kazakhstan right next to it. Kazakhstan's got one of my favorite flag designs. Finally, Switzerland and Japan. Is anyone else just kind of wondering what the hell some of these countries are doing talking to each other? Switzerland and Japan seems like a really random one. Are the Swiss trying to secretly get a hold of their robot waifus before the rest of the world? Because you know Japan's working on it. I already pre-ordered my robot waifu like 10 years ago. It's gonna come one day, I just know it. Germany in the style of California. I always love when people use the Californian style. I guess they chose a pig because this is the most common large animal in Germany. And I see you're already ready to chop it up. That's depressing. Probably shouldn't say this, but it just makes me wonder what Nono Germany's flag would be in the style of California. Like what animal would they choose? Oh, an eagle. Man, that's so basic, so boring. Well, I'm really stupid. I've seen this image so many times. That's obviously what they would have gone with. Anyways, Arizona, the real life flag of Arizona. You would think this would be one of the more difficult ones to create, honestly. I, I don't think I would ever guess it would be possible. But look at this, this alpha man did it. I mean, I'm not saying this isn't a beautiful image, but the realistic Ukrainian flag has gotta be like one of the easiest to recreate. I believe this is referred to as armorial or roll of arms of the Iberian Federation. I've seen a lot of these before in map games. That Portuguese one very famous. I like when their coat of arms matches like their actual flag. Like that's pretty smart. Not all the time though. I actually like this. Put a bunch of drawings on there. Why not? Of course, Castile has a castle. Maybe that's why they named it Castile. <laughs> Bro, why are GFs always angry about flags? Why do they hate flags, man? Sorry, but I'm not gonna put live, laugh, love on my wall. Oh, wait a minute. Here's a proposed coat of arms for America, 1782. We were fresh off that freedom. Immediately starting to recreate this. Man, this looks terrible. <laughs> 
I'm so glad we didn't pick this one. I'm sorry to whoever made this. Luckily, there have been oof for a long time. But damn, like, this is really the best thing you could come up with? Even this dude doesn't look happy to be included in the design. So here's an event to celebrate Central Asian nomadic origins. Got a bunch of flags being flown everywhere. Actually, some famous ones. We got, like, turkey. We got a blue turkey. I don't know what is going on, but why do I imagine there's probably a few furries in attendance? I know there's somewhere in there. Scratch everything I've said before. This is the most epic. I can't believe they finally did it. Indonesia and Poland. Poland. Honestly, you guys need to be having meetings every single day. I just want to see this more often in life. Here's actually just a big old list of some of the more similar flags. And actually, a lot of these I didn't think about. I mean, there's the obvious ones that we all talk about. Italy and Mexico. Mexico just threw that eagle and snake on it. Italy, I think it's time to copy strike. England and Georgia. Just Georgia decided they'd put like a couple more crosses. They were going to outcross England. I didn't realize how close Turkey and Tunisia is, though. It is almost pretty much identical. Again, someone's got to get sued. Chad and Romania, we always talk about this one virgin romania versus chad chad jordan and palestine of course these two together we just saw that never i guess czech republic and the philippines are similar i mean they are but nah yeah, it's a fine. Serbia and Slovakia. Come on, you guys both start with S. You're going to confuse all the Americans. You're going to be more confused than normal. I always see the Netherlands and France, but not Paraguay included. But it does make sense. Paraguay should be included. Micronesia has outstarred Somalia. And Gamer Nation out here competing against India. Sorry, not going to say that one. This guy did a coat of arms Germany in 2019. This person first proposed this coat of arms. The first version was formed March 31st, 2019. It already looks pretty good from the start. I could see someone rocking that. Bam, make it look good in like a church facility right there. That would work on like some walls. It's a very cartoony version. I feel like I'm playing Link Breath of the Wild or something. Then he posts a simple crest on Discord. A couple other different variations of the style. And the thing is really taken off. It's only been like two months later. An emoji version. How do you do an emoji version? That'd be cool to get this on your phone. Actually, this makes me think, why can't this person put his own designs. Like, imagine, like, a map game that allows you to upload your own designs. People would love that. It just keeps getting crazier. The collection is blessed. I love all the different takes of it. Pretty cool little flag it's holding right here, too. This is actually a scary-ass deer goat thing. Doing a little bit of experiments. The neon light looks great. Why do I feel like this is a brewery company now? In 2020, the badge and banner are assumed. This literally looks like a video game. And all the other achievements and variations that didn't make it, this lore is just going deeper and deeper. Even more shields. So many different styles with it all and it's still being worked on to this day incredible please use this design like start a business or like open up a coffee house just use it as an icon or something maybe maybe sell it actually i wonder if people would buy it i wish i was good at graphic design but then that would mean i'd probably have to learn photoshop and stop using paint yeah mexico the u.s and canada all in the style of austria hungary really wish they would have included the eagle and snake sort of thing i'm surprised they didn't these other two look pretty good i like them canada probably looks the best though i've heard of the tricolor flags supposed to represent different stuff why not just actually make them what they're supposed to represent we've got the water the land the sky and a couple of happy little trees right here too so surprisingly these might be some of the flags that i've actually never come across before ever turkic flags and seen a lot of that lately there's like a whole lot of these that i didn't even know existed obviously there are some yeah we got the xbox flag let's go so many moons moons everywhere basically if you don't have a moon what are you doing a moon or a star because sometimes they don't have the moon but they have the stars do they all get together and just be like you have to do one or the other i mean not everyone did that but a lot of them followed that rule okay the flag weeb inside me is actually freaking out right now. I feel like an anime schoolgirl. I've never seen this thing flown in the wild. I've always seen pictures of it. I didn't think I'd ever see the day where I would know what it would actually look like. Why is it so interesting to me? Nobody does this anymore. Someone should do this. This is cool. This is the old Venetian flag and I just love it so much. It's the tentacle monster of flags. The no-no anime of flags. That's why it's always portrayed as like a giant squid. Oh man, imagine that country ball. Oh, that'd be so cool. Wait, what? When did these two meet up? We got Best Korea and Cuba, which on the surface seemed really weird. Like, why the hell are they meeting up? But actually... They aren't, they're they're kind of similar. Forgot that. They they are a little, little little similar with their ideology, but why was I not informed? Why wasn't this everywhere? It's weird how, like, some of this stuff doesn't even, like, make a headline in U.S. news. This is, like, the ultimate crossover event. And big thanks to the patrons Zephy, Stormtrooper501, Patrick C, Poppy Drew Woo, Manny Manny74, Mac, M203 Brush, Luxembourg, Lover, I'm about a nut, Fusion Wolf, Full Sen Nick, Epi Nick, Elijah Senpai, Dalton D, Arian After Hours, Anakiti, Aaron F, and Aaron F. Too. If you'd like to become a patron, check the link down below.